<laughs> Namaste. Good morning. Uh, welcome to this. Welcome to this moment. Welcome to the here and now. Uh, <laughs> this moment is so beautiful, man. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. Uh, thank you for being here with me. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click the little bell to set up notifications for when we post our videos. Today I'm going to actually chat with you about an age-old uh, topic. Uh, it's called getting high. But it's not going to be quite what you think. So mindfulness I teach mindfulness classes. You can check out information below the video on when the next mindfulness class is. But I teach on these mindfulness classes and mindfulness is the art of peace, joy, of touching this moment intimately and deeply. And it's the art of being high. <laughs> now, I want to talk to you about what that means. I have another I have other videos about what it means. You can check them out right there. But I want to chat with you about what it means because I think a lot of times people naturally assume that when someone is getting high or experiencing the euphoric feelings associated with being high, that they're always in some sort of a toxicant, i.e. drug or alcohol. You know what I mean? But the reality is that there is a very natural high for the mind and body that I'm going to talk to you about here in a minute that feels so beautiful and so wonderful without all the negative side effects of drug usage. I mean, even marijuana can be really good for you. The THC and all of the beautiful properties associated with the marijuana plant can be really powerful and really good for you and the more they study it the more science there is the more they're realizing wow uh, this plant is really incredible and I think that if you're struggling with anxiety then yeah don't take anxiety medication I think I would try marijuana or if you deal with pain try marijuana but I am going to actually tell you about an even crazier thing and that is that even that marijuana is all it's doing is it's going in and it is uh, connecting or attaching to these cannabinoids these neuroreceptors in the brain which are passing along this information or disconnecting other neuroreceptors I'm not going to get into all the science there's tons of videos out there for that who knows if they're actually correct or not but there's a lot of videos out there about that so you can go check those out but what's happening is it's coming in and it's it's basically jacking up the brain, which can be really cool. And to be honest with you, I think more human beings need to get a little jacked up. I mean, they're a little touchy, they're sensitive, they're uh, not living in peace, they're kind of, they're not at rest at all, and they're not really enjoying their life much, to be honest. Like, I look around and I see a lot of people just doing the 9 to 5 grind and even having grinds on the after after work do work in doubles and stuff just to be able to make in meat or you know maybe they enjoy it maybe they don't but they don't really look like they're enjoying it I mean to be honest if I'm gonna be real with you most people don't seem to be enjoying their existence but what if I told you that your most natural state of existence this essence state this awareness state this pure awareness state entered into these brought forth these bodies in this beautiful playground we we call the, the most people call the world so that these bodies could be high experience uh, euphoria and play ultimately on the playground what if i told you that your physical form the the thing that you call a body the thing you've probably identified as is an energetic force capable of all kinds of things that you're not even aware of yet more more on that later but right now let's just talk about why the brain is so cool and that it was originally intended to continually create euphoric 
feelings in your body. I just want to take you back, if you will, back to a Bible story called Adam and Eve. It's found in Genesis 1, 2, and 3. And this whole Bible story is a really esoteric uh, story. In other words, if you view it from an inner perspective, lots can unfold or lots can be revealed. There's this an apocalypso or a revelation, a stripping away of what you think you are to reveal what you actually are. This is what's really cool about revelation. Revelation is revealing something that you're not so that it can actually pull that thing away and show you what is underneath of it. It's kind of cool. So Adam and Eve in this original body before they begin to enter into a state of dualistic thinking and time-based perception. Time-based perception didn't just come in when Adam and Eve ate of the tree of ate that apple, ate of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Time-based perception came in when the brains began to shift and the cannabinoids stopped passing along the right information that actually impacted not only the pleasure centers of the brain, but actually impacts your memory and your past memory and all that. So what I'm saying is this, the original brain wasn't meant to be hung up on the past. It was a very present brain, a very present mind that was just bringing in information, but it was bringing in information and translating it on a deep and intense and intimate present way, a way that you've probably never experienced. I don't even know if I've ever experienced and I'm really fucking present. So all that being said, what ends up happening is Adam and Eve over the course of linear time, now they weren't viewing it that way at that moment, but over the course of linear time, they began to actually process things in a different way. And the less that uh, they uh, were connected with their true nature, the more they began to actually live in a kind of a, a, a time, uh, what I'm called, what I call the past mind or a, a linear time. So linear time came as a result of the disconnect with the divine nature and a, an attachment to the body and mind. In other words, I believe I am this. This thing lives in time and space. That thing that I really am, the pure awareness, doesn't live in time and space. Time and space is just these uh, ideas that are unfolding, these creative ideas that are unfolding within the reality that you actually are, within the uni universe that you actually are. You're the space in which all the universes and even the multiverses exist. So it's a pretty awesome uh, thing. It's a pretty cool thing. Uh, all of this being said, to say this, your original nature was high. Your original nature was pure bliss. There's this word, there's this one of these neurotransmitters. I can't even honestly remember what the name of it is right now, but it works with the cannabinoid uh, transmitters in your brain. And that original word there in the Sanskrit means inner bliss or pure bliss. In other words, there's parts of your brain that were literally meant to just produce a continual state of euphoria. This is the reason why I've lived in a euphoric state for more than 10 years in this body, perpetually for more than 10 years. I can only count a handful of times, probably on both hands over the last 10 years, where I have not felt some form of a high. Now, my baseline high is uh, it's very different than most people's baseline high. And so uh, I'm saying all of this because... I know you're watching this video right now because you would like to experience what it feels like to really be high. To really begin this journey of being high, of enjoying bliss, you start by learning what it means to be present or learning how to turn, how to observe the thoughts without judgment and turn the mind off to the past mind and step into the timeless state, this eternal state the Bible calls heaven. Heaven's now, baby. It's not some distant futuristic perspective. It's now. Eden's now. Nirvana's now. Heaven's now. Instant enlightenment is right now. Maya is right now. So, all of this being said, there is grace here in this moment for you to experience everything that I'm talking about. If you want more information, please go ahead, comment ask questions down below. If you haven't already, go ahead, click subscribe. If you like this video, click subscribe. Click on the bell so that you get notifications in your inbox whenever we post a new video. I love you. I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. I hope this was uh, maybe not just informational, but maybe it encouraged you a bit. And uh, I hope you have a beautiful day. Remember, the more you awaken, the more you play. Mm -hmm.